Hello, Dolly Tribe. Hello, hello, hello. This is Evie. It's dress up time. Sunshine here today. So yes, Dolly Tribe, I have, let's get them out here. I have three fashions that I want to try on with you to get try on with you today valentine's day approaches okay and while we do this try on i think what's going to happen is that i'm going to do a little um what is it called story time you know before i do that i want to um ask you guys how you've been doing I hope life has really been treating you well. Um, if you see my previous video, uh, this is the Bianca, which is also Steffi Love, living room set. So all of this right here is living room set. This here, I just have in the background, Black History Month. This is the Madam CJ Walker doll outfit. I have removed the doll from the outfit and um, have her in some, you know, more modern clothes you know so she's somewhere around here living her best life um and her outfit i just decided to put it on display just because it's black history month and all of that so dolly tribe i do hope that you all are well and let's get into this dress up the dolls slash story time because i have an issue with mattel creations and fedex so while i get these dolls dressed and what have you I'm going to be talking and sharing my experience with you today. All right, and I'll be right back. Let's get started. We're going to start with this doll right here. Her name is Danny. So we're going to get started with, with Danny. She is the um, Harlem Renaissance Barbie Signature um, Selma Duparjam doll. And she's on her original body, which has made to move legs made to move legs but she has the pivotal articulated arms and she doesn't have the knee rotation i mean the upper leg rotation like most made to move dolls have so this is what doll she she is and i don't know if you've ever seen her face before but there it is isn't it pretty <laughs> and this is the original pearl necklace and stuff from her outfit that she had. So I'm going to put her in this outfit right here. Okay, this is a Sparkle Girls outfit that I've had in storage for I don't know how long. So now that it's out of storage, we're going to get this doll into this outfit. And now let me start my story about Mattel Creations and sorry to hit the camera. Mattel Creations and FedEx. I wanted the Vera Wang Barbie doll very badly. I purchased her from Mattel Creations. Um, I went to the website on a whim one day and she was $28.99 or something like that. And when I, you know, when I decided to get the doll and everything like that, I unfortunately, I guess I was in such a, um, you know, a rush to get her because it was like only six left, I think, when I got on there, something like that. Six, four, somewhere around in there, uh, dolls were left. Okay. And so when I went to buy the doll, you know, I didn't have any problems, but I did put the wrong address. I transposed some numbers. I've been known to do this every once in a blue moon so you know for me i was just like well that shouldn't really be a problem you know i can easily call fedex or you know mattel or something i should be able to get this worked out boy was i wrong so the main thing that happened in that situation was that um the main thing that happened was I called FedEx and I was like, you know, I put the wrong um, address on my item and it hasn't shipped yet. I said, I would like to change it. 
So I guess a lot of scammers must have missed the were the bad apples that ruined a bunch because they were like, oh, well, we can't do that unless we get the shipper, which I kind of understand. You don't want anybody to be able to call in and just take, you know, take somebody's stuff, have it sent to the address that it was never really supposed to be at in the first place. Right. So I kind of understood where they were coming from. So I said, OK, I'll call Mattel. So I called Mattel. My item has still not been shipped out. This all happened in one day. I called Mattel and said, Mattel, I really need, you know, I really need you guys help. I put the wrong address down on my order form. Is there anything you can do to help me? And they were like, they pretty much told me, um, look, don't worry about it. What will happen is that uh, FedEx will have the FedEx will have the doll just you know once they deliver it to a non-deliverable address because the place was actually a plot of land that doesn't have a house on it I looked it up on the map my city's map and so I was like oh okay you know this will be um, very you know fortuitous or whatever that's what I did um, and found out it was a non-deliverable address. So Mattel pretty much told me, you know, don't worry about it. We're, you know, they're going to send it back to us. And then we'll, um, when they send it back to us, we're going to send you, you know, we're going to send a doll to you. I said, okay, that's, that's going to work. So they took down my information and all of that. And, you know, I guess it all happened the way that it was supposed to happen. When I looked at, when it finally got delivered to the location. So here she is. I put her in these shoes. <laughs> um, I put her in these shoes. I didn't think she was going to fit them, but she does because she has the, both the right and the left foot. So I'm surprised she even fits those. And then here's a little purse that's supposed to go with the doll. It's the purse that's supposed to go with the Sparkle Girls outfit. I'm sorry, the Sparkle Girls outfit. So here she is. She's looking super cute, right? So let's just have her stand. Well, let's move this. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. So we're just going to have her stand up so you guys can look at her pretty little outfit. And then here's her purse. That's probably going to blend in with the couch. Oh, well. <laughs> so there she is. The next doll to get a cute little outfit will be this cutie right here i don't know if i have a name for her yet if i if i do have a name i've forgotten it <laughs> but um so while i get her clothes off i'm going to tell you the next thing that happened so when i got the um notification that the item had been delivered i looked at it and it said that it showed a house that it was delivered to now in the beginning, I told you that, oh goodness gracious, I keep knocking this around. In the beginning, I told you that the um, the doll said it was delivered. And I told you that the place where I transposed the numbers on my address was an empty lot. It's just a a place that where it's just nothing but grass with no house on it no shed no kind of structure whatsoever it's just grass on this lot and let's say the lot address is one two three four right so this is the lot with the, with the grass on it this little tray right here and this white cup mug here is the address one two three eight main street Okay, and then this controller right here would be 1210 Main Street. This is 1234 Main Street, right? So the delivery person, the closest house that was actually to, to the plot of land was this house over here. And then let's just say this house was over here. And there's some, there's just a lot of plots of grass with different addresses on it until you get right here. So the delivery man, instead of even chucking it right here, he goes all the way down here 
and puts it at this address because that address was similar to the address that was given that I wrongly put down on my order form from Mattel. So I become angry. I knew, you know, I knew that this person was going to do that. I told Mattel that they were going to do that. So I called FedEx. And I was like, look, your man did the wrong thing. You know, I'm just kind of let y'all know. And they act like they could care less. I really didn't understand that, but they acted like they could care less. And, you know, that really, you know, peed me off even more once I figured out they could care less. So then I called Mattel. And what Mattel pretty much told me, Mattel told me, don't worry about it. We are going to send you. Well, first I asked Mattel if they could call um, FedEx and redirect the package before it was even um, before it was even shipped out. And they told me they could not make outbound calls and all this business. Right. So they told me that I could not that they could not do that for me. So that irritated me and I was like, well, you know, I'm kind of concerned because when I purchased the doll, which was a couple of days ago, there were only six or four of them left. So if they don't send it back in time and all this different stuff, like how am I going to be, you know, assured that I'm going to get this doll? And the young lady that was on the phone, she said, oh, don't worry about it. We have a warehouse that has replacements, you know, ones that people send back and all this other stuff. And then I was like, okay, so I'll get a doll from there. They were like, yeah, we're going to, you know, if it's sold out on the Mattel Creations website, we're just going to get you one from there. So the next thing that they did, this is a really cute top. So I was like, cool. Well, since the guy, you know, put it on a property that, um, it was a house. The person that they delivered it to kept the item. Okay. They kept the item and when they kept the item, you know, they didn't call FedEx and say, y'all, you know, deliver me an item. I don't know what happened to it. That sort of thing. They never did anything like that. Like I would assume they were going to do because the area that I transposed the numbers to is a poor area. So I assumed that the people that was there were going to do just what I thought they were going to do. You know, and when you try to tell people this kind of stuff, they seem like they get mad. But I wasn't being, you know, rude to the people that live there. I just know the mindset that some folks have. And uh, so what I said happened. And I told Mattel, hey, look. They didn't, they, they just put it on somebody's lot and I showed them, I showed FedEx and I showed Mattel cause I did my homework. I don't complain to a people that I cannot prove something. I sent the picture, the picture that was on the delivery, um, thing that said that it was delivered, you know, how they left the package at this house. I'm not going to use the shoes in this pack. So when I told Mattel, I just, I just showed all of the photos i showed the map photos and then i was able to match the picture that was in the app that told me that my package was delivered versus um the photos that i had took via google maps you anybody can tell that's the same house and it was the one that was furthest away from the plot that of of the address that i gave that was my address it was just transposed numbers Mattel is like, don't worry about it. We're just going to send you one from the replacement facility, you know, blah, blah. So this is a doll. She looks really cute, doesn't she? I don't have a name for her yet. I think I gave her a name, but I forgot it. So it'll come back to me at some point because it's usually what I think they look like. They should be named. Um, she looks really cute in these shoes. This skirt looks fabulous on her and everything. But yes, so I told Mattel that they told me not, not to worry. Next doll I'm going to have is old Heidi here from the Barbie Looks, the most recent wave of Barbie Looks. And um, here she is, if you don't remember her. And I'm going to put her on this outfit. So Mattel said they were going to send me another Vera Wang doll, not to worry about it. 
Um, in three days, I will get information about the shipping on it. They updated my at my correct address in the system and said I was good to go. Said, don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna get you your doll. It's gonna take seven to ten business days to get to you, and but you'll have it. So seven to ten business days went by, right? <laughs> And let me give her this purse to go with her. I'm going to give her that, this kissy face purse. So that's her accessory. So seven to 10 business days went by and I hadn't heard a peep from Mattel. They didn't have, they didn't have the, um, they hadn't, I called Mattel and by this time I was fuming, okay? Because Mattel done told me they're going to do all this stuff for me, okay? And um, and just FedEx was just plain out rude. I'm just trying to get the kitties to stay out of the way because their water bowl is dry. And I'm just trying to get this finished, the video finished, before I start doing any of the chores for them. So I told Mattel, look, you guys have done some bad things. I said, because you said you were going to send my dog. So what's going on? And so the people at Mattel were like, um, I'm sorry, but, you know, we don't have any more Vera Wang dolls. I said, excuse me? They said, we don't have any Vera Wang dolls. I said, oh, y'all got to be playing. I said, I said, why do you not have any? I said, because the last couple of phone calls, I told you guys that they were being sold out on Mattel Creations. And y'all told me that, you know, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. <sighs> so the girl tells me, well, ma'am, you do know that you put the wrong address on your order. I said, yeah. I said, are y'all just now deciding that y'all don't want to give me my item because it was I put the wrong address on there. I said when I told y'all all of that, I was very forthcoming with you people at Mattel to explain to y'all what was going on. You know, I was very forthcoming and telling y'all everything that happened, play by play. And so I asked for the supervisor because the girl kept telling me they, you know, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing that they can do. And I was like, oh, you're gonna do it because that's what you promised me. Y'all kept telling me not to worry, not to worry. Because had y'all just said it's too bad for you, I would have probably just went back to the website and ordered her and she may she may not have been out of stock. But I didn't think about that up front. So I guess maybe that was another blunder on my on my end. But, you know, I'm thinking I can, you know, that Mattel's going to help me out because they that's, that's what they kept telling me. So she looks cute in her outfit. And then I'm going to place this little heart bag on it. So Mattel had told me the whole time, oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You know, everything is going to be okay. And um, it did not turn out okay. And even when I talked to the supervisor, they were like, I'm sorry, ma'am, we just don't have any more. I said, well, you guys better go to eBay or somebody and give me my doll. Because y'all reassured me on multiple occasions, at least twice, that, I'm gonna, that you guys were going to send me that doll no matter what had happened. So they're like, oh, well, we're sorry that we told you that and everything, but we just don't have any more. I said, so what am I supposed to do? I said, because you guys do not communicate with FedEx, who is your, who is the person that ships out all your products. So if you don't communicate with them and they're telling me to communicate to you and you don't do so, that leaves me in a effed up space because now it's just an impasse and I don't get what I want. So Mattel told me they were going to reimburse me like that helps. I only paid um, $34.95 with the shipping and taxes. It was $28.99 or something on their website. And that amount had worked for me. Um, I was playing a risky on a doll I wanted so bad because um, I just have limited resources. So this is the purse that came with Heidi's outfit right here. Just so you guys know, I'm going to set that one right there. And then the little purple one is like right here. You know, I just I just don't know what to do now because they refunded me my money, but it doesn't help because on the secondary market, um, the the Vera Wang doll is one hundred eighty to one hundred dollars that I'm seeing mostly. So it doesn't help me when you give me back my money. That's why I told them maybe they need to go to eBay and buy her and then ship her to me. But see, they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to give me anything. They didn't give me a coupon. 
uh, anything on my next purchase. They didn't say anything like that. They were just like, oh, well, I'm sorry, peon, you little peasant. It's too bad for you. And they, they threw my money back at me and told me to go about my way. And FedEx pretty much, after I sent them all the information, they were like, so why are you calling? I was like, to tell you that your delivery person didn't do a good job. He just chucked my product. He just put it where he thought it should go. He didn't send it back to the company undeliverable. And that made me mad too, because had he done that, you know, it probably would have turned out just a little bit differently for me, but he didn't do that. So, because they said they were just going to send, send me back the one that he had sent or get one from the thing and then send that one back to the replacement center or wherever. I don't know, but it was, you know, everything was supposed to work out for me and it did not. And I am very upset and angry that I do not have my Vera Wang Barbie signature tribute doll. I am very hurt by Mattel Creations, Mattel Corporate, Corporate um, Customer Service Line and all that. I'm very hurt. And I don't know. I'm, I don't think because this is the second time I've had a problem with Mattel Webs, you know, their customer service just handing me back money. And then I have to pay a higher price on the secondary market for, um, you know, for my for my dolls and all that. So I just don't understand what's wrong with them. I really don't. I don't understand why they couldn't go above and beyond and give me and give me my doll. I mean, you said you were going to help me and then you turn around and say, oh, too bad. You made bad decisions. You put the wrong address on there. They updated my address and everything for in the future. But I don't I told the young lady, I said, I don't even know if I'm going to be using you guys in the future. I'll have to stick to Amazon and Entertainment Earth and all those places to get to get my dolls because uh macquarie and you know all those different places because they you know they were just rude both companies were rude both companies act like they was going to help me and then didn't um even when i uh went on twitter to tell fedex what they did i showed them all the pictures and what happened and they were still just like oh well well, you know, sometimes they just don't put them in the right places. You you know, use us, use FedEx or die. Like, you know, like they pretty much flipped me off and told me to kick rocks and I'm not happy about it. So I just wanted to share that story with you guys. It's been on my mind a lot and I really didn't want to revisit it. But something said, share the story with your Dolly tribe and, you know, just let them know this. If you've never had interactions with Mattel's customer service or FedEx, just to tell you guys how this how this all went down for me and maybe you can you know learn from what i did and maybe have a better outcome when you deal with both of those companies um so i hope this helped you guys and i hope you like the fashions that my girls are wearing um i think they all just look very cute and uh this couch sits really low <laughs> this couch sits really low i don't like how low it sits so um, this was from the Bianca set, you know, it's good for set dressing, but if you're really trying to pose and stuff, you're going to have to make a platform for this little, this little couch. So just so you know that, um, but yes, this is all I have for you guys, Dolly Tribe. Um, if you can tell, like I've been talking about this with a lump in my throat, uh, dealing with Mattel Creations and FedEx really sent me like, it sent me to a place I don't hardly ever go, which is you know, getting in, you know, talking kind of, talking kind of rough to people. I don't really like to do that, but in order to get things done, sometimes you have to do it. And then even if you go there, you still might not get the outcome that you want. But other than that, I still keeping the sunshine in my life. That just made me very angry. I was hot as the sun when they tried to play me like that. But anyway, um, thank you guys for dipping in the domosphere with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Dolly Tribe, just be safe. You know, watch your surroundings. When you go out your house, take about 30 seconds to take a look around your environment and see what's going on because that can help you eventually figure out what's the routine in your neighborhood if you don't already know that. So when things are out of place, you'll be more apt to, you know, be able to report it the way you need to. Take care, Dolly Tribes, and many blessings. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.